Welcome! In today's video, we will dive in the world of clipping masks in Affinity Photo, as they can be a bit tricky, especially when you're coming from Photoshop. Let's get started. Before I start explaining clipping masks, let me first duplicate this image and add two adjustments for demonstration purposes. Please keep in mind that adjustments are applied from bottom to top for the layers below, or in other words, the top adjustment is always applied last. Now, if we want to clip these adjustments to a specific layer, we need to make them child layers. How do we do that? Just drag and drop them below the layer you want them to be applied to. Do not drop on top or next to the layer icon, as this will be used to create masks. If you're coming from Photoshop, this might feel a bit awkward. In Photoshop, you specify that a layer will be clipped to the layer below. In Affinity, you create a hierarchy of parent-child layers. The adjustments and filters in a child layer will be contained to the parent layer, creating the clipping mask idea of Photoshop. Just to remind you, the same order applies, meaning the top child will be applied last to the parent. So don't get confused on this, as this might feel unlogical. At least it felt for me initially. Now let's have a look at the sample in Photoshop and then check how we can replicate it in Affinity. In Photoshop I will copy a layer, use the high pass filter on it and add a new layer below it on which I will paint. Now let's clip the high pass layer to the paint layer. As you can see the high pass is no longer applied to the whole image but only to the painted layer. Setting the painted layer to overlay mode makes the lips shiny and glamorous. Let's go back to Affinity and let me show you how the same effect can be achieved in Affinity. First let's remove the previous test layers and now I will repeat the same steps. Add the high pass filter and paint on a new layer. To clip the high pass on the paint layer, in Affinity we have to think as, I want to contain this high pass layer to the painted layer. And how can we do that? By making it a child of the painted layer. Let's drag and drop it to the painted layer as a child and voila. We created the clipping mask just as in Photoshop. Let me show you another interesting way how clipping can be achieved by using the new linked layers functionality in Affinity Photo. Let's first think about what clipping actually is. It's actually masking a layer so it applies to a specific region. So if we make a linked copy of the parent layer and use this as a mask, we have the same effect. So let's create the link layer by selecting layer duplicate linked. The next step is to make this link layer a mask. In the layers panel, drag and drop it just beside the layer icon we want to mask. In this case, the high pass layer. As the mask is now linked to the paint layer, any changes will directly apply to the mask too. Pretty cool, right? Let's clear everything and add some test adjustments again. I will show you that this second technique has exactly the same effect as the default clipping in Affinity. I will select both adjustments by pressing shift key and move them as a child to the pixel layer. So now we have contained them to the pixel layer. 
This is the default method of clipping in Affinity, as I showed earlier. Now let's duplicate this pixel layer, which also duplicates the adjustments. Move the adjustments onto a new pixel layer. Let's continue by grouping the adjustments and making a linked duplicate of the pixel layer. To create the clipping, we make this linked pixel layer a masked to the adjustment group. As a final step, let's group the adjustment group and the pixel layer so they stay together. There we have it. Let me put these two layers aside so we can compare them. As you can see, it is exactly the same as the usual containment method of affinity. And making changes on the adjustment layers will only affect the associated pixel layer. Neat! Okay, here is a bonus technique for you. Clipping by using groups. Maybe the most easiest way for simple clippings. Let's have a look. Let me first move out these two adjustments layer from the pixel layer. As you see, they apply now to the whole image. We can group them and they still apply to the whole image. Now, this is where the magic happens. Let's move the pixel layer inside the group. And what we have? We have an instant clipping mask. Amazing. Just keep in mind that when clipping with a group, the clipping will be applied on the pixel content of the group. And sometimes this does not always work well as you expect, especially with filters. So there you have it. Two methods on how clipping masks can be achieved in Affinity Photo. I'm not counting the last one, because the grouping method might not work in some cases. I hope this was useful for you, and as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.